Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about uh, updating your firmware. If you've just bought your 7300, um, it'll probably come preloaded with the uh, stock firmware. How you tell what firmware you have, well there's two ways you can do that. When you turn the radio on, it appears down here, 1.14, that's the current firmware. Most radios ship at 1.13. Uh, the update centers around uh, um, modifications to the operation of the scope and there were issues when the radio appeared first with the overflow light being on continuously so um, you need to download the update from the ICOM website and uh, you need to put that onto your memory stick in your PC or your memory card and transfer the file over what we do then memory uh, set SD card and we go down here to firmware update on the second page now I won't be doing this because I already have it done so it says here firmware updating the firmware is very risky if you make a mistake the 7300 may not operate properly and a repair of ICOM incorporated Japan may be the only way to fix it you undertake the updating of the firmware at your own risk and responsibility please refer to the down to the firmware download homepage and or instruction manual for the correct procedures in updating the firmware. So basically at this stage we scroll down and you press yes. So you can see here that that's the file I have which is how I saved it onto the memory card and you just click that and press yes and it takes about a minute or so and there are prompts on the screen on how to do it. I'm not going to go through this now because I've already got it done but it's quite simple and um, I think there's one or two little things that will appear on the screen so it's best to sit with the radio and uh, do it with it. Don't go off and leave it or have a cup of tea or anything like that. Um, I'd like to see a firmware update from ICOM soon um, you know, a few nitty little things that could be fixed, like the CW side tone, etc. If they moved it in to that box there, it'd be a hell of a lot handier. So, there you are. Anyway, that's uh, a quick how to video on how to update your firmware. Um, as I said, most radios ship at 1.13, so as well just to, uh, to get it done and sorted when you get the radio. Okay, 7.3, and thanks for watching. Bye bye.